What's up everyone, welcome back to another diary entry in this diary entry series um, We're really getting down to the last, I think, six diary entries now Which is crazy Can't believe we've been doing this for nearly a month It's crazy <laughs> But um, today's gonna be a little bit more of a serious one Well not really serious but like It's gonna be more of a personal one, I guess you could say so, trigger warning here, it's about mental health, so if you don't like talking pretty in depth about mental health and like um, just <laughs> sadness, I guess you could say, then maybe watch the other videos instead of this one. But um, yeah, that's your trigger warning. <laughs> so, do you ever feel like, like, although you're surrounded by super happy things and you feel happy and stuff, but like you're in this kind of weird limbo between happy and sad like I'm happy but like I'm not probably happy it's really weird and again I think it's like I think it's just this whole like quarantine lockdown situation and like usually school and stuff like that would act as a a um, no, it's a distraction because there's nothing like I needed a distraction from because I have a good life fortunately enough and I'm happy at home and everything like that but like school and being able to see my friends and stuff like that in school like every day even though it was out of convenience because it was school um, but just seeing everyone and being at school and feeling productive every single day is what made me happy all the time obviously there was loads of down days because school is hard a levels are intense but um do you ever feel like you're in this kind of weird limbo where you don't know if you're happy or sad you're kind of just existing because <laughs> that's what i feel like of course like i'm trying to be happy and i am happy a lot of the times but then there are just some days where they're just your down days and they just hit and when they hit, they hit hard <laughs> and it's really like, I don't know it's not something that you kind of just like can do, like actively do something about it it's kind of just something you take you firm it and just get through it <laughs> um, Obviously I have this diary entry thing, this whole thing is about improving mental health and um, the aim of it is just to see if like talking about things and voicing my opinions and voicing like what happens on the day to day um, just helps me, uh, I don't know, it's just like someone to talk to even though it's just a screen. But, um, I don't know, it's like this weird limbo kind of thing where it's like <laughs> like you just are existing and I don't know how to feel about that like I don't know what to do with myself and also we're pretty much like in a limbo phase of moving house at the moment which is weird because Pretty much I've been born and raised in London and I am moving to the central and central slash suburbs of Birmingham and that's crazy to me like never in a million years would I think I'd be moving to Birmingham and settling there for however long <laughs> but um, I think it's that whole thing as well because obviously I'm excited about the move because I'm going to uni but it's just a weird kind of limbo like I'm happy about it but I'm also kind of sad and weirded out because I'm leaving my whole life behind that I thought I made in London <laughs> um, but even then I still tell my mom like as soon as I get my degree as soon as I get like the necessary qualifications <coughs> And my light fell again. Perfect. 
But um, where was I? Oh gosh, it's falling. Stop bloody falling. Okay. Um, I also always tell my mom that as soon as I get the qualifications I need, undergraduate and postgraduate, I told her I'm upping and moving back to London. You know, ten years, twenty years, however many years time from now, I see myself with a family in a skyscraper. <laughs> Obviously, the family aspect might not be best suited to a skyscraper apartment, but I mean, a baby can live in an apartment until they learn to walk and stuff, so that's fine. <laughs> but I always told her I'm gonna live in a skyscraper apartment one day in central London, and I am sticking to that as far as I go. I'm gonna try and stick to that. But yeah, I'm in this kind of like a weird limbo phase right now where I'm kind of <laughs> it's a roller coaster of emotions. Happy, sad, relief, adventure, excitement. It's all a package deal. Um, I think it might just be this whole quarantine situation or post quarantine I guess because we're slowly easing out of it, but then again the second wave. So that's fun. Wear your masks, please wear your mask. I just ordered a, another um, like heavy duty mask for the second wave and because going into uni. So I'm waiting for that to come. It should come in two days, I think it was. So yeah, that's good. <laughs> but please wear your masks. This whole second wave is because like we've all been eager to go out and as soon as we go out bam second wave <laughs> so please wear your mask um but uh yeah other than that though like this whole roller coaster of emotions and down days i've had loads of up days and i don't want anyone to think for a moment that i'm sad or um, ungrateful for my life because I'm definitely not. I'm super happy with where I am and my family and I'm super happy with how far I've come and how far I want to go and I'm like most of the time happy. It's just this is just a reflection on the days where I'm not because I don't want to put a false persona out there that oh I'm like happy all the time because I'm really not. <laughs> you know even the happiest person can have the worst days and that's just what I want to tell you guys but um on that note I don't want to end this on a severely bad and uh serious note um uh how do I continue mood tracker let's go with the mood tracker mood tracker for today is a three out of five it's been an average day it's been okay um I haven't been sad or anything, it's just, again, I often use this word throughout this video, it's been a limbo, <laughs> it's been uh, half good, half just average, but that's okay, because even the lowest lows have to have the highest highs, so yeah, that's where I am at the moment, but um, it can only get better from here, touch wood is still hollow <laughs> but i'm gonna wrap it up here guys make sure to check in with your friends and make sure to stay happy and if not happy stay motivated there's always a better ending beyond the tunnel wait no what's the saying i don't want to use light at the end of the tunnel because that's overused what is it? you know at the end of every rainbow there's a pot of gold so stay motivated and find your pot of gold because we all know you can't chase a rainbow but you can just carry on trying to and that's exactly what I'm gonna do with my dreams and aspirations so carry on doing your thing and working to your best because if you don't work towards your best you will never be your best and that's all that matters so yeah <laughs> I'm gonna wrap it up here uh, thank you so much for watching hopefully this wasn't too serious or too um intensely boring um but yeah have a great morning evening or night and good night <laughs>